So far, we've learned about arithmetic and geometric sequences. Now, in this lesson, let's explore geometric series and compare the difference between this and geometric sequences and see how they are related. So, let's dive right into it. All right, so let's begin by thinking about what we learned in our geometric sequences video. If you haven't already watched our video on geometric sequences yet, we encourage you to go ahead and watch that lesson first before moving on to this one, since it will help you to understand the context of what we're teaching in this lesson. Otherwise, let's go right into looking at an example of a geometric sequence. So here is our geometric sequence. And as we already know, it is a list of numbers where the ratios of the consecutive terms are constant. However, a geometric series is essentially the same thing, except that it is the addition of all the terms in a geometric sequence, like so. And instead of t of n, we denote series with this s of n, which represents the sum of all the terms up to the nth term. Good. Now, let's bring back the formula for geometric sequences to review what it represented. We remember that the a here stands for the first term in the sequence. The r stands for the common ratio between each term. And the n stands for the number of the term that we're looking for. Great. So using the same variables, this is our formula for the geometric series. And just like our formula for the geometric sequences, these variables represent the exact same things. So let's move right along and try an example using the geometric series formula. So if we were given the following geometric series, what would the S of five be equal to? aka the sum of all the numbers in the series up to the fifth term. Well, firstly, what we need to do here is determine two things in order to solve for this. We need to determine what the first term is, as well as what the common ratio between each term is, in order to fill in the missing variables. So, here we see that the first term is 2 and that the common ratio between each term is four. Since every term is a multiplication of four with the previous term. Great. So we can go ahead and plug the following values into the variables. And of course, we already know that our n is equal to five. And now we can solve for this. Simplifying this gives us two times 1023 all over three. And computing this gives us a final value of 682 as the sum of all the terms in this series up to the fifth term. Awesome. So again, if you work through some questions and you get used to using the formula to solve the questions, you'll get comfortable with geometric series in no time. Well, that's the end of this lesson and we will see you guys in the next one.